children welcome to another beautiful sunday service online how have you been i'm sure you've been good and how has school been can i hear you say great yeah i know school has been great you've been having fun learning new things and so we are going to be having fun and learning new things today all right like i always do before we continue can we pray together to usher in the holy spirit into the service today put your hands together and let's pray in jesus name lord we thank you for another opportunity to come before your presence to worship you we are grateful for all that you have done for us keeping us in good health and sound mind and for those that have been sick during the week you have healed them we come to say thank you you took us to school and you brought us back safely you provided for mommy you provided for daddy we have come to say thank you receive all the glory and all the honor in jesus name we have come today to worship you to serve you and to learn from your word teach us O oh lord let us not only be hearers but let us be doers of your word let your word yield positive impact in our lives in jesus name amen can i hear you say amen yes amen all right then the service has started tell mommy tell daddy this is not the time to disturb me i want to worship god i want to attend service online who is not there call your brother can i hear you calling it's time for service success it's time for service rachel it's time for service emmanuel come 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 all right then so we are going straight into praise and worship yeah time to dance do you have your dancing shoes i have mine and i have some new dancing steps yeah we are going to go dance before the presence of the lord so come on let's go praise and worship Say a little prayer before we start our day. Let us thank God for the lovely things He has given us. for all that he has given us.
still dancing because it was an awesome time. Yes, I enjoyed myself. I praised God. I danced. I screamed, Hallelujah! It was wonderful. Yes, that is what God expects of us because in His presence, there is fullness of joy. Yes. And when you are joyful, you are dancing. And I believe and I pray that our praise and worship will ascend to God as a sweet smelling savour. <sighs> I'm tired. It was really, really nice to dance. All right, let's settle down. Let's settle down. It's time to hear the word of God. Who is ready? Can I hear you say, I'm ready to hear the word of God. Yes, 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 you are ready. Okay, you know what? Sit down. Do you have your Bible? Do you have your writing pen? Just sit. don't worry if you don't, because I'm going to make sure I take it slow and we learn and have a great time in the presence of God. Last week, we studied or we learned about God's first commandment, which says, Thou shalt have no other God before me. Wow! And it was an exciting time. Let me ask you a question. Hmm. Did you make anything a God before God? I can hear you say no. So when it was time for church, you left your cartoon, right? Or you left your toys? Yes, because God comes first. All right then. This week, we are going to be teaching about another of God's commandments. Yes, God gave 10 commandments. And we are going to be talking about the different types. So we are going to be picking one after the other and teach on it. So last Sunday, we talked about God's first commandment, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And this Sunday, we are going to talk about Remember the Sabbath day. Hmm. Somebody is saying, Auntie Sylvia, what is Sabbath? Okay, okay. I will explain. But that's our topic. Our topic for today is Remember the Sabbath day. Hmm. So what's the Sabbath day? Or what does the Sabbath day stand for? Let me see. Yes, you remember the story of creation? When God walked for six days and on the seventh day he rested. Yes, that seventh day is the Sabbath day. The day where God wants all of us to rest from school, from all kinds of work, and serve him, and worship him, and keep it holy. Hmm. So let's see, which day is the Sabbath day now? Is it Monday? No, I go to school on Monday. Is it Tuesday? No, I go to school on Tuesday. Is it Wednesday? No, we go to school and then we go for online service in church. Is it Thursday? No. Friday? No. Hey, hold on, is it Saturday? I don't go to school on Saturday. Is that our Sabbath day? Hmm. Sunday is our Sabbath day. We've chosen Sunday to be our Sabbath day because that is when we go to church we worship God and we serve God and we rest. And you know what? Sunday is also the first day of the week. Isn't that interesting? Somebody is saying, no, it's Monday. I go to school on Monday. It's the first day of the week. No, the first day of the week is Sunday. And God says, keep it holy. Rest. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? I mean, after going to school, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, you're doing your homework, you're doing your housework, and then Sunday, God says, dedicate this day to me. 
come and serve me. Come and worship me. All right, let's read a story about the Sabbath day. Okay, so let's go read a story about the Sabbath day. What did Jesus say about the Sabbath day? What does he want us to do about the Sabbath day? Is it just a day for rest? Is it just a day to serve God, to go to church? So open your Bible to Matthew chapter 12. We are going to be reading from verse 1 to 13 from the New Living Translation. And it says, At that time, Jesus went on the Sabbath day through the corn, and his disciples were an hungered and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he was an hungered, and they that were with him? He went into the house of God, and he and his companions broke the law by eating the sacred loaves of bread that only the priests are allowed to eat. And haven't you read in the law of Moses? that the priest on duty in the temple may walk on the Sabbath. I tell you, there is one year who is even greater than the temple, but ye will not have condemned my innocent disciples if you knew the meaning of the scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For the Son of Man is Lord, even over the Sabbath. Then Jesus went over to the synagogue, where he noticed a man with a deformed hand. The Pharisees asked Jesus, Does the law permit a person to walk by healing on the Sabbath? Hmm. They were hoping he would say yes, so they could bring charges against him and he answered if you had a sheep that fell into a well on the sabbath wouldn't you walk to pull it out of course you would and how much more valuable is a person than a sheep yes the law permits a person to do good on the sabbath then he said to the man hold out your hand so the man held out his hand and it was restored just like the other one wow isn't that great hmm can you see jesus healed the man with the deformed hand on a sabbath day hmm, what does that tell us yes we are not supposed to walk on the Sabbath day. Yes, we are supposed to keep it holy. You see, the Pharisees thought healing, Jesus healing someone on the Sabbath day was work. They wanted to bring charges against him. Because in the law, in the commandments, God told them, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And so they thought, on the Sabbath day, no work, no nothing, no, not even doing good. Can you imagine? Is that what God told us? No. Though it's a Sabbath day, though it's a holy day, and because it's a holy day, we have to do good. What lessons do we have to learn here? Just like our topic say, Remember the Sabbath day. Our own Sabbath day is the Sunday. The day we come to show gratitude to God for all he has done for us over the weeks 
and over the months. Hmm, somebody is asking me, Auntie, how can I show gratitude? How can I show gratitude? Well, you can show gratitude by saying thank you, Jesus. Not only to Jesus, when mommy or daddy does something to, for you, you also say, thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. That's how to show gratitude. But very importantly, you show gratitude by waking up on Sunday, dressing up and coming to church or attending online service and worshiping God and learning from the teaching. Yes, that's how to show gratitude. So when it's time to go to church on Sunday, when it's time to go for service, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Remember, it's a day to show gratitude to God. Another thing we learned there is that it's a day to do good. Okay, you are not only to do good on the Sabbath day, on Sundays. No, 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 no. It means that throughout the week, you have to do good. Remember I told you, Sunday is the first day of the week. So you start your week off by doing good. So I'll ask you, what good are you going to do this week? Hmm. I'm going to ask you next Sunday if I'm here. Because remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What good are you going to do? I'll tell you so many good you can do. Because if you start your week doing good, it brings joy, it brings happiness, and it shows that you are keeping the day holy. You are remembering the Sabbath day. So let me see. What good can you do? What good can you do? When your cousin comes to play with you, comes to visit, let him or her play with your toy. That's not the time to say, mm, I won't share my toy with you. No, 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 no. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What other good can you do? Hmm. I'm thinking, yes. Another good you can do is to teach your friend who is having difficulty to solve that homework. Like, can I show you how I did mine? You can teach the person, okay, you take one and you add another one and that too. That's a good way to do good. That's something good to do. Being kind, being helpful, yes, at home. When mommy says, all right, come and sweep the floor, or come and mop the floor, or come and do the dishes. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Yes, you'll do good. And you will quickly go, do the dishes, sweep the floor. Because that is what God expects us to do. You see the Pharisees? They didn't want Jesus to heal the man, the man with a deformed hand. But Jesus told them, Yes, it's a Sabbath day. Yes, it's a Sunday. Yes, it's the start of the week. I will start my week by doing good, by healing this man. So whenever you have an opportunity to do good, do good, okay? And when Jesus prayed for the man, the man was healed. His hand was as good, the, the hand that was deformed was as good as the other hand. So friends, we have learned a lot today. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Sabbath day is our Sunday. It's a day for us to do good. It's a day for us to show gratitude. It's a day for us, you know, to, to obey God's commandments. Like the other commandments. Do not steal. Do not, you know, testify falsely against another. So if something happened and you were not there or you don't know what happened and they call you, okay, come on, Beatrice, what happened? Don't say what you, you did not see. Don't say what you don't know. If you were not there, say, oh, auntie, I was not there. I don't know what happened. Don't say something that is not true. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it only. Do not tell lies. 
You know, another good thing we can do is not doing bad things. Yes. Not doing bad things. Keeping the other commandments. You do not tell lies. You do not steal. That's a good thing to do. And that's the whole essence of remembering the Sabbath day and keeping it holy. I hope we've learned something. All of God's commandments is to guide us, is to help us to be good children, obedient children, and respectful children. So I'm sure whenever you remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, you will do good. Whenever you remember the Sabbath day, you will see it as an opportunity to show gratitude to God. And when it's Sunday, you'll be the first to wake up and say, Oh, mommy, oh, daddy, today is a day to show gratitude to God. I want to go to church. I want to go and worship God. I want to go and serve God. And I'm sure as you do, just as Jesus healed that man, Jesus will do a whole lot of beautiful things in your lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Alright, it's time for us to take our memory verse. And you know what? I've been saying the memory verse over and over and over again as I was teaching. Yes, when I say it, you say, oh yes, you said it, you said it, you said it. So our memory verse is from Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. And it says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Can we say it together again? Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Alright, I'm going to stay quiet. Who is going to recite it? Okay, I can hear you say, I can, I can. Don't worry. Let's say it together again. And then we will say bye for today. So let's take our memory verse one more time. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. I pray that as we have this at the back of our mind, we'll be children filled with gratitude. We'll be children doing many good things wherever we find ourselves. My name is Sylvia Oshakwade. Like I say, you can call me Auntie Sylvia. Looking forward to seeing you again next week Sunday. Do take care of yourself and bye for now.